Uh, welcome students. Now we are going to see the exercises in Unit 4 of Science for the 6th Standard first term, that is the world of plants. Come, let us go into the video. Question number 1. Choose the correct answer. Pond is an example of dash ecosystem. The choices are marine, freshwater, deserts, mountain. Ponds in the freshwater ecosystem in the number, part of the bottom. Aha, B in the Sariana Vide. The important function of stomato is conduction, transpiration, photosynthesis, absorption. Idalavan the stomato and the electrolyhan molamaha, Ave Nira Viakal and Ravur, a sail batine, say the undergun and brother, Nama Bato. Aha, transpiration is the right answer. Organ of absorption is root, stem, leaf, and D flower. This is stem. Number four, the habitat of water hyacinth. This is the water hyacinth plant. This is A aquatic, B terrestrial, C desert, and D mountain. So, this is the same thing. Aquatic, that's why A and that's why it's Now coming to question number two. That's the first question. The Earth's surface is covered by dash percentage of water. That's 70% of water is Sariana Vede. The driest places on the Earth are dash. This is deserts. That's why we have to go to the desert. Idangalai Parthamanal, other than the desert center, Namavan the part of the Padicham. So her desert center, the Seriana Bade. Fixation and absorption are the main functions of the stem dash. So main functions of the stem, stem today and Mukimana Pogi Panikal and Nanabadamna, fixation and absorption. At the primary organs of photosynthesis are dash. The Pacheam, other the photosynthesis, Volic Cherke, Merkola Kudia. The leaves. So, leaves is the right answer. Tap root system is present in dicotyledonous plants. Okay, so we saw two types of roots tap root system and fibrous root system. So, this is the tap root system. Dicotyledonous plants are the same as the other. Now, coming to question number three state true or false. If false, correct the statement. Number one, plants can live without water. So can you imagine plants will be able to survive without water? No. So therefore the answer is false. All plants have chlorophyll. All plants are, have chlorophyll. So the answer is true. So plants can then the chlorophyll run that on the photosynthesis. Question number three, plants have three parts. The root, the stem and leaves. So the answer is false. Karna Nanbatina plants have only two parts, that is the root system and the shoot system or stem. Leaves are part of the stem. And the Tandil in the Varakuriana Ilehali Uriya. Ilehil and Buddhi Taniana Pagdi Allah. Question number four. Mountain is an example of freshwater habitat. False. Yeah, false in Badamana in Tani. So Ahavande it is a terrestrial habitat, Allah de Nila. Walvidam in Badadan, Unmayan Saryana, Vidai. At the question number five, root is modified into spines. False. Why it is false? Because it is always the stem or leaf which is getting modified into spines in desert plants and not the roots. So the, therefore the answer is false. Green plants need sunlight. Adavade Pasmayana Tavarangalke Oli Surya Oli and Bade Avasyam. Green plants can photosynthesize. So therefore the answer is true. Now question number four matches the following. Left side four five choices. That is mountain, desert, stem, photosynthesis, fibrous root. And right side A to E. Monocot, branches, dry place, Himalayas, leaves. So this is a match for the mountain. Mountain Gudarna on the Himalayas. And desert. Desert is characteristic 
of a dry place and stem stem carries branches then photosynthesis for carrying out photosynthesis plant need leaves enbada nama paathom fibrous root fibrous root normally occur in monocot or monocotyledonous plants so therefore the match has been already solved for you please follow it students now coming to the question number 5 arrange the following in correct sequence இப்போ இதை வந்து மாற்றி கொடுக்கப்பட்டுள்ளது இதை வந்து நீங்கள் சரியான சீக்வன்ஸில் அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணணும் நம்பர் ஒன் லீவ் ஸ்டெம் ரூட் ஃப்ளவர் இது நானே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜம்பல் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஸோ இதை அடி அதாவது தரை மட்டத்திற்கு கீழே இருக்கக்கூடிய அடிப்பகுதியிலிருந்து பார்த்தோம்னா ஃபஸ்ட்டு ரூட் அதற்கு பிறகு ஸ்டெம் அந்த ஸ்டெம்மில் அமைந்திருக்கக்கூடிய லீஃப் அந்த ஸ்டெம்மில் அமைந்திருக்கக்கூடிய ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் ஸோ தெர்ஃபோர் ரூட் ஸ்டெம் லீஃப் அண்ட் ஃப்ளவர் இஸ் தி ரைட் சீக்வன்ஸ் then transpiration conduction absorption and fixation idu pathina the plants have different functions adha vande or jumbled up manner la koduthirukanga idukku correct sequence enna nu pathina fixation so the plants the roots help to fix the plants on the ground then absorption it helps to absorb water and minerals from the soil and conduction the stem helps conduction of water and minerals into the other parts of the plant and transpiration normally it's the leaves which carry out transpirations so the correct sequence is fixation absorption conduction and transpiration answer very briefly question number 1 classify the plants on the basis of the of their habitats the plants are classified as aquatic and terrestrial on the basis of their habitats avanga vaalvidathai adipadaya kondu paathamana neer thavarangal alladhu tharai thavarangal endru alladhu nila thavarangal endru irandu vagaga nama theikindru mention few desert plants agave cactus opuntia or some of the desert plants define the term habitat idu nam and paadathile paatham dwelling the dwelling place where plants and animals live and reproduce is called habitat question number 4 relate the terms leaves and photosynthesis leaves with the help of chlorophyll produce carbohydrate using water and carbon dioxide through the process of photosynthesis in the simple terms la photosynthesis na enna adu leaves unde pangu enna endradhe patti solliyirukrom then coming to question number 7 answer briefly why do we call jasmine plant a twiner the weak stem of jasmine plant is modified into a twine like structure so that it can climb on any support to survive this modification is called twiner idukana velakka vande nama paadathile priva paatham now question number 2 compare the tap root and fibrous root systems so normally vande the tap root system thukku fibrous root system thukku irukka kudiya veru vaadugala enna endradha attavana petti padithi kattirken appa paakalam vaanga consists of a single root called a tap root which grows straight down into the ground whereas the fibrous root consists of a cluster of roots arising from the base of the stem tap root is usually thick smaller roots called lateral roots arise from the tap root whereas in fibrous root system the roots are very thin and uniform in size tap roots are usually seen in dicots or dicotyledonous plants udharana vand bean mango and neem whereas fibrous root system are seen in monocotyledonous plants or monocots example grass paddy and maize now question number 3 distinguish between the terrestrial and aquatic habitats so terrestrial habitat ku aquatic habitat ku enna vidamana veru vaadugal alla vidhyasam irukku nu paatha terrestrial habitat occupies 28% of earth surface whereas marine habitat among the aquatic habitat alone occupies 70% of the earth surface divided the terrestrial habitat is usually divided into mountains grasslands deserts and man made habitats abigella udharana namu yerkanave paatham divided whereas aquatic habitat is divided into fresh water bodies that is rivers lakes and ponds and marine habitats which include both oceans and seas terrestrial habitat in des- uh, terrestrial habitat desert plants stem and leaves get modified to tide over water scarcity in case of aquatic plants stems and leaves have air spaces 
to help plants float. Uh, I think you understood the distinction between the terrestrial and aquatic plants. Come now, let us go to the next question. List out the plants present in your school garden. This is an important exercise that is being given to you, though I will not be able to solve it myself. It is for the student and students group to go into your school garden and identify the trees, shrubs, twiners, tendrils, etc. on the land area and the aquatic plants in pools, if any, found within the school. So, if you want to go school garden, once identified, he or she will list in a notebook. What do you see in the notebook? What do you see in the notebook? What do you see in the notebook? This can be done in a small team of three or four students. That is why you can do it in a small team of three or four students. That is why you can do it in a small team of three or four students. So, this is why you can do it in a small team of students. Okay, now next question, answer in detail. One, make a list of the functions of the root and stem. Functions of root. Root in a plant helps to fix the plant in the soil, absorb water and minerals from the soil, store food in some plants like carrot and beetroot. When coming to the functions of the stem or shoot, it helps to support the branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It transports or conducts water and minerals from the roots to upper aerial parts of the plant. It transports the prepared food from leaves to other parts through stem and it stores food in some cases such as in the case of sugarcane. Now friends, this is going to be the last question. It's a small exercise given to you to fill the blanks which have been shown in the uh, squares. Okay. Now this is in fact uh, 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 an exercise that deals with the different uh, divisions of habitat actually. So in the habitat we have seen it is divided into aquatic and terrestrial and within aquatic it consists of both freshwater and marine and we have to find out what are the freshwater bodies or the freshwater habitats that are normally seen by us. So one example is given here, the river. Now the other examples you know very well. Lake is one freshwater uh, habitat and pond is another example of a freshwater habitat. Now coming to the other questions. Uh, among the terrestrial habitats, we have seen very many divisions. So one of them is grassland, which has been given already as an answer. Now you have to fill up the other two. And the other two are essentially mountain or forest, then the desert. If you are subscribed to the school, subscribe to the school. Welcome.